Kyle Kopp. It turns out water polo may have always been Kyle Kopp's destiny, and for that, the sport has truly benefited. When injuries derailed a promising basketball career, Kopp found a home in the water. A three-time All-American at Long Beach State, he was named the Big West's most valuable player on two occasions. On the USA national team, Kopp was part of two Olympic games and won gold at the 1997 FINA Cup. He segued into coaching, helping the women's national team to two world championships and two Olympic medals. Currently, he serves as head coach of the Golden West College women's team. He was a treasure. I mean, you could see the potential there, and uh, he did a great job getting himself into shape. Went out for the swim team, and uh, and like all Olympians, you know, they they find a way. They know they have to work hard if they want to make an Olympic team. Always on top of his game. Always ready to play. Very serious about winning at, at all times. It was not get in the game and mess around. It was time for work. I did see him play. I. He was at the 2000 Olympics and we got to see him play. He always, he was intimidating to me when I first started. He was this tall guy and just dominate people. You see his big hands coming out of the water to grip the ball. He was very, very intense. Like definitely um, willing to go to battle and fight to win at all cost. In that situation, I think that he, knowing the history that he was a defender and then a center and got moved around a lot, I really feel that he was just kind of a full package. He was a clutch player. I can remember playing a team, uh, like, uh, San, I think it was out in San Bernardino area, and uh, they weren't that good of a team, but uh, we weren't playing very well that day, and it came down, and Kyle stepped up when, it, when he needed to and, and uh, put a couple of goals in towards the end that gave us the win. Very tough player, could hold set, could guard two meters, and did develop a lot of speed so he could actually could counterattack. So an all-around good player. I think he really loves this game. Uh, he, you know, he lived it, he played it, he got to the, the extreme levels and at the na national team in the Olympics, and he brought that love to us. And <laughs> there are times when he gets fired up and you know he's starting to get red, and we would feed off of it. And I think that's why we respect him because he puts so much energy into what he's doing, whether it's coaching, doing film, you know, talking to us, and it's just, he cares. I was really happy for him, and uh, it was not a surprise. More joy for a friend, knowing that it was always going to happen for Kyle. Uh, he had a great career on the U.S. water polo. I thought his Olympic career should have started four years earlier, during the 92 Olympics, but he had to wait another four for his first one. There's no surprise with Kyle. He, he embodies water polo, I think, through his playing career and his coach, and and even what he'll do next, I'm, I'm, he'll probably make up something new for, for water polo. And he just, his passion, it's so, so big. So I never, never second guess that. He's an Olympian. He'll always be an Olympian. You can't take it away from him, and he deserves it. We got him to read Cosmo magazine on a trip to Russia once. Oh yeah, he probably will not want anyone to know about that. 